Longins is a watch company based in St. Imier, Switzerland. Founded by Augusta Gassus in 1832, it is owned by the Swatch Group. Its winged hourglass logo is the oldest registered for a watchmaker. Longins is known for its aviators' watches. A company director was a friend of Charles Lindbergh. After his transatlantic flight, Lindbergh designed a pilot watch to help with air navigation. Built to his specifications, it is still produced today. Longins provided timers used at the first modern Olympics in 1896. In 1899, a Longins watch went to the North Pole with Arctic explorer Louis Armour copyright Dow copyright E. de Savoy. It was the first to use automatic timekeeping for the Federal Gymnastics, at Basel in 1912. Today, Longins sells sport watches and chronographs. History Based in St. Imier since 1832, the Compagnie des Montes Longins Francillon SA was among the world a Euro unregistered trademark S leading watch companies. In 2007, Longins had its 175th anniversary. The brand evolved from a comp toy to a full fledged manufacturing operation and then back down to an A copyright tabla Saturday, since the early 1980s, as a Swatch Group company. The Lungeon is a Euro unregistered trademark story began in 1832, when Auguste Gasses, brother of naturalist Louis Agassiz, found a job in the hamlet of Saint Imier, joining Comte Toy Hologa Regal June, in 1833, taking over the business when he and two of his associates set up a company named Comte Toy Regal Ja and C. The venture was run on the then prevailing business model based on piecework by people making or processing watch parts in their own homes for the account of a jobber who delivered the blanks, or rough parts, and picked up and paid for the finished ones. The company soon found ways to sell its timepieces in distant markets, not least in the Americas. Equals Agassiz and Compagnie equals, in 1847 Agassiz became the sole owner of the company which he renamed Agassiz and Compagnie. In 1852, his nephew Ernest Francillon joined the company. During the 1850s, Francillon took over the business from his ailing uncle, focusing on increasing and improving the production of standard watch designs. Equals Ancy and Maison Auguste Gasses, Ernest Francillon, successor equals, in 1862 Francillon renamed the venture Ancy and Maison Auguste Gasses, Ernest Francillon, successor, adding his own name to his unclear Euro unregistered trademark S. As he took over day-to-day -day management, Francillon looked for ways of improving and streamlining production, then parceled out to a number of different sites. The result was a factory where the watches were both manufactured and assembled. Equals Les Longins equals, in 1866, Francillon purchased two adjoining plots of land at a place locally known as Les Longins on the right bank of the River Suze in the St. Imier Valley. Here he built a factory, to gather the entire production under one roof. By 1867, Francillon had convinced some of his peace workers to transfer their activities to his newly built factory and hired a young kinsman, the engineer Jacques David, to help him devise the tools and machines which he needed to improve the manufacturing processes. Jacques David was able to mechanize much of the process of watchmaking. Equals manufacturer longins equals the first in-house Longins movement was created in 1867. The same year Ernest Francillon returned from the World's Fair in Paris with a bronze medal for this watch. From the 1870s on, Longin is a Euro unregistered trademark industrial options proved judicious and the company grew steadily until the first third of the 20th century. The buildings themselves regularly had to be adapted to the needs of a flourishing enterprise which, by 1911, employed over 1,100 people and sold its timepieces worldwide. Logo, on July 19, 1880, the Longins brand and logo were registered at the Swiss Federal Office of Intellectual Property, now the World Intellectual Property Organization. The company had by 1867 already adopted its winged hourglass symbol both as a mark of quality and as a defense against counterfeiting. The Philadelphia Universal Exhibition of 1876, in 1876 Jack David attended the American Centennial Exhibition in Philadelphia and was shocked by the high level of mechanization and automation that had been achieved by the American manufacturers. On his return he wrote two reports that triggered a wide-ranging debate within the Swiss watch industry. 
David's first report was a detailed description of the current state of American watchmaking, a summary of the state of Swiss watchmaking and recommendations of changes he thought necessary to come to the threat to Swiss watchmaking from America. This confidential report was presented to the Intercantonal Society in January 1877. Less than two months later David presented a second report vigorously complaining about a lack of action in response to his first report and predicting the end of watchmaking in Switzerland should action and change not be made properly and on time. The 1970s, in 1972, Longins was the first world watchmaker to introduce a LCD display watch on the consumer market. There were advances in performance of the watches and their appearance continued to change. In 1980s there were a series of ultra-thin designs following another world record of Longins in 1979, the thinnest quartz watch called the Fayil Dog, it was just 1.98 mm thick. The 1980s, in 1984 Longins introduced the Conquest BHP Caliber, the first thermocompensated quartz movement to use digital count adjustment. It set new accuracy standards with a variance of only plus minus 12 seconds a year. Thermocompensation uses a highly sensitive thermometer to measure the ambient temperature and slightly adjust the frequency of the quartz oscillator to compensate for adverse effects on timekeeping caused by temperature fluctuation. 30 million watches. On February 19, 2001 Longins produced the 30 millionth watch at its factory. In 2002 it celebrated the 170th year of the Flying Hourglass logo. Longins in sport. Longins gradually built a special relationship with the world of sport. Present in Athens in 1896, the company has been closely associated with the worldwide development of sport, timing Olympic Games 14 times, beginning with Oslo in 1952. Its partnership drove the company to devise a variety of inventions and developments enabling it to determine and display winning times. Equals Aeronautics equals Official supplier since 1919 to the International Aeronautics Federation, Longins has provided the watches required to set and then certify numerous world flight records a Euro not least Charles Lindbroff a Euro unregistered trademark S 1927 first non-stop solo crossing of the North Atlantic. Instruments designed and built by Longins have thus helped world explorers and trailblazers of the skies. Thus, in 1927 Longins timed Lindbergh's transatlantic flight, which lasted 33 hours and 30 minutes. Amelia Earhart was another famous wearer of its watches. This period also marked the appearance of the first in-house self-winding watches and the company won several awards, among them four Diamonds International Academy Awards and the Prix d'honneur of Lausanne. In the mid-1930s Longins patented the flyback chronograph equals American sports equals, before the advent of digital clocks, the Longin's name was conspicuously displayed above large analog clocks topping many scoreboards at various sports stadiums and arenas. Three notable examples in baseball parks were the scoreboard clocks at Yankee Stadium before the stadium was remodeled during the early 1970s, at Cheer Stadium, removed at the end of the 1979 season and replaced with a digital clock and at Crossley Field in Cincinnati, Ohio. So nostalgic were Cincinnati fans for the latter a replica was installed at Great American Ballpark when it replaced Crossley's cookie-cutter successor, Riverfront Stadium. The Longins logo received much free publicity when Pittsburgh Pirates second baseman Bill Mazeroski's 1960 World Series winning home run was hit directly above a Longin sign at Forbes Field. Similarly, a Longin sign was prominently visible at San Francisco's Candlestick Park when San Francisco 49ers receiver Dwight Clark made a famous catch of a touchdown pass from quarterback Joe Montana in the 1981 National Football Conference Championship game. While many of these original Longin's clocks have been removed, a handful remain, including one in full working order above the basketball court at the University of Kansas's Allen Fieldhouse. Equals basketball equals Longins was an official sponsor of Los Angeles Lakers televised broadcasts from the late 1970s to 1984. During lead-in segments, the Longins brand name appeared as a graphic as Lakers broadcaster Chick Hearn announced the brand as the official timepiece of the Lakers. Equals equestrian sports equals, in 1952, 
its photogynes was the first device to visualize the finish line as it measured times. By 1960, the Contfort combined moving images and timing functions. These and other inventive developments contributed to Lungin as a Euro unregistered trademark sporting credentials. Longin started equestrian timekeeping in 1926 at the Concours Hippique International in Geneva. It has since then officiated at more than 100 national and international show jumping competitions in Europe and in North America, providing timing services at competitions including World Championships, European Championships, and Olympic Games along with many CSIO meets as well as, more recently, Arab League competitions. Longin sponsors various horse racing events. For example, the Debushima Classic, Grosser Prix von Baden, Prix de la Copyright Ra, Singapore Gold Cup, Hong Kong International Races, and Kentucky Oaks are all currently sponsored by Longins. Equals gymnastics equals, after the great success of wristwatches at the beginning of the 20th century, the Longins factory underwent a massive reorganization of methods of production during the 1920s and 30s. In 1912 Longins began a close partnership with gymnastics as the official timekeeper for the 1912 Swiss Federal Gymnastics Meet in Basel. The result of this partnership was the introduction of automatic timing. In 1912 at the Swiss Federal Gymnastics Meet, it introduced the broken wire automatic timing system. Equals skiing equals, Longin started in skiing in 1933, and returned to it in 2006, becoming official timekeeper for the FISA Euro unregistered trademark S2006-2007 Alpine World Cup competitions. Equals tennis equals, Longin's has been the official timekeeper and partner of the French Open since 2007, as well as the Kremlin Cup and the Japan Open Tennis Championship since 2009. Former World ATP No. 1 Andre Agassi and WTA No. 1 Steffi Graf were named Ambassadors of Elegance in 2008 and Longins has been a long-time partner and sponsor of Agassi's Foundation for Education and Graf's Foundation Children for Tomorrow. In 2010, the brand has announced its U.S. and global tennis program aimed at supporting and developing junior athletes. Equals Tour de France equals, in addition to the Olympic Games, Longins has timed 31 Tours de France. Worldwide acclaim, over the years, the Campania Euro unregistered trademark s various technical research projects earned so much acclaim abroad that Longins could claim the title of a Euro a leading prize winner a Euro at international exhibitions up to the Barcelona exhibition of 1929. It won 10 Grands Prix. In 1969, Lungin is a Euro unregistered trademark corporate tradition of technical innovation yielded the first cybernetic quartz electronic wristwatch ever designed by a watch manufacturer era Euro unregistered trademark s in-house research facilities. See also Notes, in a business system based on an agreement between producers or salesmen, the Comptoir acts as the intermediary between them and their customers. A manufacturer is a watch factory which produces the components needed for the manufacture of its products. The A copyright watch is an incomplete watch movement sold as a set of loose parts, comprising the main plate, the bridges, the train, the winding and setting mechanism and the regulator. An A copyright tablisser is a watch factory which only assembles watches, without itself producing the components, which it buys from specialist suppliers. References a. B. Jacques David and a summary of a Euro OE American and Swiss watchmaking in 1876 A Euro with emphasis on interchangeability in manufacturing by Richard Watkins. NAWCC Bulletin, No. 350, pages 294-302. The World Watch War, Time, June 19, 1972, Kremlin Cup. Longins.com, Access November 4, 2011. Longins invites André Agassi and Stephanie Graf to the French Open. Europa Star, Access November 4, 2011. Longins teams up with André Agassi Foundation for Education. International Watch Magazine, Access November 4, 2011. Longins looks for tennis a Euro unregistered trademark superstars of tomorrow. Long Island Tennis Magazine, Access November 4, 2011. External links. Official site, the Swatch Group, Thermocompensation, 
methods and movements, Longin's VHP movement, a different ETA quartz. 